Standard 10 Science Chapter 3 The Acid-Base Chemistry Acids and Bases Dear students, you must have enjoyed a variety of mouth-watering ingredients to relish your taste buds since your childhood. Recall the taste of some more ingredients given in the table. Table alongside shows the taste of some items found in your kitchen. In Latin, acidus means sour. Substances which are sour to taste have acidic ingredients and their solutions are acids. Substances which are bitter to taste are bases. What is meant by indicators? You must have observed that the traffic on busy roads of cities is controlled at various squares by traffic signals. Each of the three colours of the signal indicates the activity expected from the people, that is, to stop, to be ready and to go. The acidic and basic nature of the compounds can also be indicated by some natural as well as chemical substances. These are known as indicators. You have studied in the previous classes that litmus papers help in detecting the acidic and basic nature of the given compound. Acids turn blue litmus red, whereas bases turn red litmus blue. Litmus paper or solution is obtained from a plant named lichen of division Thallophyta. Let us perform one activity. Prepare the extract of red rose petals, turmeric, beetroot and indigo. Keep the extract in four watch glasses. Cut small strips of white paper. Dip the strips in each extract several times. Dry them thoroughly. Then take five small china dishes with five solutions of lemon juice, common salt, baking soda, vinegar and edible oil. Dip one strip in each solution and note the change in colour. There are many natural substances such as rose petals, turmeric, beetroot etc. that can be used as indicators. They are called natural indicators. Let us do this activity. Collect samples of vinegar, lime juice, NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide, and hydrochloric acid. Note your observations when you add one drop of phenolphthalein, methyl orange, and put a litmus paper into it. Tabulate the result in the table. Some chemical substances such as phenolphthalein, methyl orange, eosin are also indicators. They are synthetic indicators. Look at this activity. Take a few drops of eucalyptus or nilgiri oil, eau de cologne, in two test tubes each. To one of the test tubes, add dilute HCl and to the other, add dilute NaOH. Shake the test tube well and check the odour. You can choose some more substances with typical odour and analyse them. There are certain substances whose odour changes in acidic or basic medium. These substances are known as olfactory indicators. Mixture of several indicators is known as universal indicator. Let us perform this activity. Collect samples of kokum extract, palak extract, any aerated drink, tomato juice, dilute HNO3, dilute KOH, prepared tea, ginger with honey and buttermilk in test tubes and add two drops of universal indicator to each. Note change in colour and also pH. You have already learnt that acids contain hydrogen ions and bases contain hydroxyl ions. Can you quantitatively find the amount of these ions in a solution? From this, 
Can you judge how strong an acid or base can be? Strength of acids and bases You can judge acidity or basicity by using a universal indicator which shows different colors in different concentrations of hydrogen ions in a solution. pH scale helps in measuring hydrogen ion concentration in solutions. In pH, P stands for potens, which means strength in German. The scale reads from 0, meaning most acidic, to 14, meaning most basic. The value of pH indicates acidic or basic nature of a solution. The strength of base is represented by pOH. When the pH value is between 0 to 7, the solution is acidic in nature. At value 7, the solution is neutral and between 7 to 14, the nature of the solution becomes alkaline or basic. When acids in aqueous give more number of H plus ions, then they are termed as strong acids. Similarly, when acids in aqueous give less number of H plus ions, then they are termed as weak acids. Is there any member in your family who suffers from acidity? What are its symptoms? Do you know why it happens? Do you know some household remedies to cure acidity? Many suffer from acidity. Symptoms are pain in stomach, burning sensation in food pipe. Baking soda in water is a cure. Milk of magnesia, that is magnesium hydroxide, is also a cure. Lime water with butter having butyric acid can cure acidity. Can you explain why? Based on the principle of solubility, like dissolves like, acidity can be controlled by acidic substance mixed with basic substance. Similarly, jaggery is used with tamarind while cooking. This helps in maintaining pH of our body. Importance of pH in and around you. Let us try out this activity. Collect sample of rainwater. Add few drops of universal indicator to it. Note the color change and also pH. What is the nature of rainwater? Color of water is yellowish green, which indicates that pH is 5.6. The nature of rainwater is acidic. When the pH of rainwater is less than 7, the rainwater is acidic. When it flows in a river, it lowers the pH of river water. Aquatic life is drastically affected due to acidic nature. Not only that, when this type of rainwater is absorbed by plants, it affects their growth, the flowers and fruits they bear, etc. The human body works within pH range of 7.35 to 7.45. Have you ever tried this activity? Collect your own saliva sample in the morning before you brush your teeth. Collect one more sample and test its pH with universal indicator after you brush. What will happen if pH is below 5.5? When the pH level lowers below 5.5, the acid level in the mouth is strong enough to attack the enamel and corrode it. You all know that tooth enamel is made up of hard matter, calcium phosphate. Food particles are degraded by bacteria in the mouth with pH below 6, they corrode the phosphates to cause tooth decay. Activity Collect various soil samples. Mix it with water and filter. Collect the filtrate in test tubes and test with universal indicator. Make a list of plants growing in that area. If paper shows orange color, pH of soil is 4, the soil is acidic. If color of paper is greenish to blue, pH is between 8 to 9 
and the soil is alkaline. Hydrochloric acid produced in the stomach helps in digestion of food. The acidity or indigestion problems can be controlled by adding basic substances called antacids. Do you know red ants are known as forma in Greek? When you are stung by a red ant, it causes itching and irritation. This is due to the acidic sting by red ants known as formic acid. Honey bee sting also causes a burning sensation. Let us look at the acids, bases and their reactivity. Reactivity with metals. Activity. Take a boiling test tube. Choose proper stopper through which you can fix gas passing tube. Take a few pieces of magnesium ribbon. Add dilute HCl to it. Take burning candle near the gas passing tube. What do you observe now? It burns with a pop sound. Repeat the same experiment with zinc and copper granules using other acids such as dilute H2SO4, dilute HNO3 and CH3COOH. All metals react with acid to give metal salt and hydrogen gas. Zinc forms zinc chloride and copper forms copper nitrate and hydrogen gas is liberated. What will you observe when iron nails are treated with concentrated HCl? Iron combines with HCl to form iron chloride and hydrogen gas is liberated. The bubbles given out during the reaction are of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is displaced by the active metal from the acid. Metal combines with remaining part of the acid and forms compound called salt. You can represent reaction as acid plus metal gives salt plus hydrogen gas. You can now have a balanced chemical reaction for the reaction between zinc and dilute HCl. Zn plus 2 HCl gives ZnCl2 plus H2. Let us perform this activity. Take few pieces of aluminium ribbon in a test tube, add 3 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to the test tube and warm. Observe. Repeat the process with magnesium metal. Aluminium plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium aluminate. Magnesium does not react with sodium hydroxide. Write the balanced reaction between zinc and sodium hydroxide. 2NaOH aqueous plus Zn solid gives Na2ZnO2 aqueous plus H2 gas. Will you observe the same reaction with all metals? All metals do not react with bases to form salt and hydrogen gas. Reactivity of acids towards carbonates and bicarbonates of metals. Activity. Take 2 gram of aluminium carbonate in a boiling test tube. Add dilute HCl to it. Do not allow the gas to escape. Through the delivery tube, allow the gas to pass through decanted solution of chalk with H2O. What are your observations? The chalk solution turns milky. When metal carbonate reacts with acid, it forms corresponding salt CO2 and H2O. CO2, when passed through lime water, turns lime water milky. Chalk powder in H2O can be used instead of lime water. What will happen if baking soda is treated with dilute HCl? If baking soda is treated with HCl, it forms sodium chloride and carbon dioxide gas and water. Will you be able to give a balanced equation? Balanced equation is given as NaHCO3 plus HCl gives NaCl plus CO2 plus H2O.